In this video, we will discuss the problem maximize the sum of selected numbers from an array to make it empty. The problem says that we will be given an array of n numbers and we need to maximize the sum of the selected elements at each step if we select a particular element, right? So in this problem, it says that suppose that in a particular step, if we select a particular element AI in our sum, then we need to delete one of the occurrence of ai from the array and one of the occurrence of ai minus 1 as well in the array if ai minus 1 exists right so this is what the problem says that you need to select a, a number ai from the array and if you select it so if you have added to your sum then you need to delete one of the occurrences of ai minus 1 that is the just one element below ai that is one thing that you need to delete if it exists and you need to delete the AI element as well that you have currently selected. We need to re repeat this particular process until the array gets empty and the sum has to be maximized. So let us quickly see the sample example for getting a, get, uh, for getting a better understanding of this particular thing. So basically we can observe that the array that will be given to us is in sorted format, right? So if we are talking about deleting the occurrences, right? If we are talking about the occurrences right occurrences of the elements so we can say that occurrences or counting the number of times an element is occurring so for this we can simply use a hash map right for storing the frequency so we can say one thing that we will be first of all using a map to store the frequency of each and every element so what we will do is we'll start iterating through the array first of all we'll declare a hash map or a map in c plus plus and we'll iterate through the array to store the frequency of each and every element so we'll move to one and one's frequency now becomes one then we move to the next element that is two and uh, two's frequency will get updated to one as well then we'll move to two again so two is occurring the second time so when it we, when we increase its frequency so it now becomes two after that, when we move to the third uh, occurrence of 2, then 2's frequency will now become 3, right? After that, we'll move to 3. Now, 3 is occurring only one time, so 3's frequency becomes 1. Then we move to 4. So, 4's, uh, 4 is occurring one time, so 4 uh, frequency becomes 1, right? So, we have stored the occurrences, right? Basically, first of all, what we have done is we have stored the occurrences of all the elements that are existing in the array. Now, if we'll observe one thing, so the arrays that will be given to us in this particular question will be in sorted format, right? In the sorted format. And if we want to maximize the sum, right? If the array is sorted and we want to maximize the sum that we are getting. So, if we want to select the elements, so which kind of of elements will we uh, try to select we'll try to select the elements from the back side we'll try to select the largest elements first right because whatever larger elements are there if we select them then our chances of getting the sum maximum is high right this is the best chance for us to maximize our sum so what we will do is we'll simply declare our sum variable initialize it as zero and we'll start iterating from the array from the back side because the array is sorted in ascending order then what we will do is we'll move to this particular element that is four so when we take this particular element into our uh, uh, like when we select this particular element so we'll simply add it to our sum and then we need to if we select a particular ai element let's say it is four then we need to delete one of the occurrences of ai and so first of all we'll do that so we'll delete one of the occurrences of, of ai so four's occurrence deletes so four uh, like now the occurrence of four becomes zero because earlier it was one then what we will do is if ai minus one exists then we'll delete one of the occurrences of ai minus one as well so for a for if ai is equal to 4 then ai minus 1 is what 3 so does 3 exist yes so we'll delete one of its occurrences and now its occurrence becomes 0 right after this part is done so what we will do is we'll move to the next index that is the index number 3 because we are iterating the array from the right to left then when we move to this element 3 then we'll check does it uh, exist is a, is any of its occurrence existing in the array no because we have deleted one of the occurrences right indirectly that is what the map is representing so we'll say that okay no worries we'll move to the next index that is the 2 because we are moving from right to left when we move to 2 then we will select uh, this particular 2 right when we select 2 in that case what happens we'll delete if ai is equal to 2 so we are selecting ai so we'll delete one of the occurrences of 2 so now two, 2 was occurring 3 times earlier, now it will occur 2 times only, right? After selecting uh, 2, we also need to see that if AI minus 1 exists, then we need to delete one of its occurrences as well. So AI minus 1, AI is 2, AI minus 1 will be what? It will be 1 itself. So 1's frequency is occurring, so 1 will be, uh, its frequency will get updated, right? After this, we'll proceed further and now we'll move to this particular 2. When we move to this 2, then again we can see that AI is equal to 2. 
So it is occurring. So we'll simply say that we'll add it to our sum and then we'll delete one of the frequencies of the element AI. So now two frequency becomes one and AI minus one is what? AI minus one is nothing but one. Does one occur? No, one is not occurring anymore inside the array because we have deleted uh, one of its occurrences and only one occurrence was there. So we'll say that, okay, we'll not delete AI minus one because it is not there. Then we'll move to the next index. So we'll, when we move to this particular two, then we'll check does two exist in the array uh, in the map yes because uh, only two occurrences we have deleted till now and one more occurrence is still there so we'll add this particular two to our answer and then we'll delete the occurrence of ai again so what happens now uh, the occurrence of two becomes zero and ai minus one is what ai minus one is one and one has a frequency of zero so we do not want, need to delete it and right then what we will do is we'll move to this particular element one now does one occur in the array no because one frequency has become zero because one of the occurrences of one that was occurring we have already deleted now if we see the sum so the sum is nothing but it is coming out to be four plus two six plus two eight plus two ten so we are getting the sum as ten now let's quickly see this particular example as well so you can clearly observe that we are also getting the sum here as 10. So basically we can see that we selected 4. When we selected 4, then we deleted 4 and 3 in the first step. After that, uh, the array was this much. Then we selected 2. When we selected 2, then we deleted 2 and 1. Right. Then the array left was 2 and 2. Then we selected one of the 2s. Then we deleted its occurrence. And then another 2 was left. So we selected it. And its occurrence was also deleted. That is how we got the sum as 10. Right. So now if you will observe so what we are doing first of all we are doing one iteration one order of n iteration for hashing that is for storing the occurrence of the elements for counting the number of uh, occurrences of each element right and then second time we are iterating through the loops for finding the maximum sum that is why we are iterating from right to left inside the array right so let's quickly try and implement this approach first of all so what we'll be uh, doing here first of all is we'll declare an unordered map so we'll say that unordered map int comma int right first of all int comma int then we'll declare it as np so what we'll first of all do is we'll iterate through this particular array and we'll uh, increase the frequency of every element so i starts from zero i is lesser than n i plus plus then what we'll do is we'll say that map of a of i plus plus so basically we'll increase the frequency of each and every element first of all in the map and then what we will do is we'll declare a sum variable so sum will be marked as zero this sum will store the maximum possible sum right after uh, following the procedures so since we want to maximize our sum and the array is sorted in ascending order so we'll iterate the array from the right side because we will try to select the higher elements first so i starts from n minus 1 i is greater or equal to 0 and i minus minus right then what we will do here is we will check that if the frequency if the ith element right if the ith element ai if it has a frequency of greater than 0 so if it is occurring in the array right so we will simply say that we need to add it to our sum so we'll say that uh, sum plus is equal to a of i right we'll add the ith element to our sum and then we need to delete one of the occurrences of aith element so we'll say that map of ai minus minus we'll delete one of its occurrences and after doing this we also need to check that if the ai minus one element also exists inside the map so if it exists inside the map if it is having a frequency greater than zero then we need to delete it as well so we'll say that map of ai minus one minus one so we'll delete one of its frequencies as well right and then after following this so i will keep on moving one, every time i'll keep on moving to the indexes like first of all it will be here then it will be here then it will be here at this index then here at this index so we'll iterate till i is greater or equal to zero and after this the maximum sum will be stored and we can simply return the maximum sum that we have stored till now let's try and compile this code to see if it works on the sample test case or not So we are getting a compilation error, yeah. So now let's try and submit it again. So you can see that it works on the samples. We are getting the expected output that's, that was 10. So we are getting the same output. Now let's try and submit this code as well. So you can see that our code got accepted. Now talking about the time complexity of our code. So you can observe that we are using a hash map right for storing the occurrences of the elements now what we are first of all doing is we are storing the frequency of all the elements inside the hash map and then we are uh, like that this takes order of n time then after that we are initializing a sum to zero and we are another another time we are loop, uh, looping through the array from right to left that is from the maximum element to the minimum element because the array is given in sorted order 
right so since the array is in ascending sorted order so the last element of the arrays will be larger so we are trying to take the larger elements larger occurrences of the uh, elements right into a sum and uh, if if we take the ai element if it is occurring we take it and then we delete one of its occurrences and if the ai ai minus one element also exists inside the array then we are uh, deleting one of its frequencies and in the end we are returning the maximum sum possible so we can basically say that the time complexity the time complexity for our approach will take uh, order of n time for hashing plus another order of n time for calculating the maximum sum this will mean that the overall time complexity is nothing but order of n and the space complexity for our approach is also order of n because we are using a hash map approach if you understood this problem till now make sure to hit the like button comment down understood as well if you understood this problem properly and the approach for it and make sure to subscribe the channel as well if you haven't already thank you for watching this video Bye.